welcome back. This is By the Book, and we are married relationship coaches. I'm Sent. I'm Syl. And we're talking today about Married at First Sight, Season 15, Episode 11. Yes. Ben and Morgan. Yes. <laughs> Our the favorite couple. The struggle couple. <laughs> <laughs> On the struggle bus. Never got started. So... Anyway, guys, if you've seen it already, you know this is the episode where Dr. Pepper gets with each of the couples individually and tries to help them through whatever issues that they're suffering so far. She has a lot to deal with in terms of Ben and Morgan. Um, they, like my husband just said, they never really got started. They got off to a really rocky start, mm -hmm. um, haven't recovered, and they keep stumbling over things. Yeah. So... Right now, we know that we're seeing Morgan address the fact that Ben lied about not sharing their personal details of their marriage with Justin yeah. anymore. And I do understand, and my husband and I were talking about this a little bit earlier, why Morgan is frustrated. Now, I don't agree with Morgan wholeheartedly in what yeah. her response is. And I think that a lot of her response, just as we talked about last week, is motivated by her feelings toward what happened between her and her dad, which we don't know all the details, but you can tell that that's a very touchy yeah. subject. Trauma response. Yeah. What they would call for it. her. Mm -hmm. So we, we see it playing out in, in her response to Ben. Mm -hmm. But I did want to take just a moment to talk about why I can understand Morgan and get you guys' opinion. So please jump into the comment section and, and let's talk about this. I'm not saying this too holy to fear Morgan, but I'm saying I understand. I'm not going to put her in the villain category where she doesn't have any redeeming qualities. I do understand where she's coming from. Yeah. I just think that she's taking it to a level that's beyond where it probably should be. Yes. Um, Come on. And I think it opens up, of course, we remember in one of the first, I don't know, one or two episodes that they were in, yeah. um, it comes to her that Ben is, ben is addressing her financial maybe irresponsibility. He's addressing her debt, her student loan debt. Yeah. Um, he's addressing her issues with her dad. Yeah. And her family situation, because he's very close to his family. He values financial freedom, financial responsibility, being debt free, things like that. And I think that put her in such a place of insecurity with him and a place of feeling rejected by him and him saying, you know, he thought that that may be a bad match essentially for that. I mean, that's a big deal to say yeah. when you just got married to somebody under these circumstances. Like, I don't think we were matched well. <laughs> you know, that's kind of cold. I think that hurt her. I think of all the things that she's saying have hurt her so far during this, I actually think that hurt her the most. That was the most rejected that she felt. That was yeah. the most parallel that she probably felt to that relationship and that relationship that she had with her dad. Yeah. And she was in total defense mode. Like, I want you to see the good in me. I want, you know, I wish that this wasn't what you were focused on. Um, and he was in the driver's seat. Yeah. He was doing all the judging and she was doing all the defending. Mm, yeah, and you. ever since that point, she's never been in that position with him again. Yeah. She decided like, hey, I'm going to take charge of this situation. You made me feel extremely insecure. You made me feel very hurt. This put me right back in the mindset of being rejected by my dad and never again. Yeah. So I think she was poised to be angry with him about any little thing that he might do. So to add insult to injury, he does lie to her. Um, I don't know if he's been, like she says, talking SHIT about her behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But because I don't, I didn't hear it. I still haven't heard him say anything like particularly negative. And yeah. because she's not sharing the details of apparently what he said, then we we'll, we won't know unless you know Alexis decides to spill the beans. <laughs> but uh -huh. he has at least, at the very least, he was untruthful about whether or not he was actually sharing the details of their marriage with somebody. He said he wasn't, and he actually was. He told her yeah. to her face. That he wasn't. Yeah. And he actually was. 
So that just gave her something to use against him. She was already angry with him. She was already feeling probably vengeful or spiteful against him. All she needed was that lie to be like, there you go. Now I can really get on you. Yeah. Now I can make you pay for this. Mm-hmm. And that's what he did. He's paying. Yeah, <laughs> he is paying. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Well, like we said before, she definitely never got a, over the, the, the first altercation of yeah. him supposedly talking to to Justin and I do kind of feel what you're saying you know that going back he had a little bit of a, of, of the command of the situation yeah. of the relationship and he voiced some concerns about yeah. her not being a nurse and he voiced some, some concerns about her student debt and her family structure and so she did receive that as a rejection yeah and for us on the outside looking in, we're seeing him as being very remorseful, mm-hmm. very apologetic, yes. and we're taking him at his word, mm-hmm. um, which is why it's easier for us to be like, oh, like Morgan, get over it. But she never got over that rejection. Yeah. And it's never so apparent as to now when she's so hurt still, she's so angry and bitter and raw yeah. about it. That you can see, like, this is deep. This is deeper than, yeah. oh, you said that you weren't going to talk about this. This goes to, I think, the core of where her insecurities are. Mm. Her being rejected at that very initial moment, that's that's a problem for her. I don't think she's going to recover from it. No, no, uh, no. She's, at least she definitely shows no sign yeah. right now of, of, of getting over it and yeah. recovering. I don't, unfortunately, I don't see her putting forth any effort to get over it either. I don't think she I don't think she is. I don't I don't think she's going to. Yeah. I think she shut down truly after that initial rejection and she just needed something to hold against him almost. Mm-hmm. Not that this isn't legitimate because he did lie, but like I said, I think she's handling it a little more harshly than she would if she hadn't faced that rejection right off the mm-hmm. bat. Okay. I think it, I think it would be a different thing. Yeah. And then for Ben we're looking at him opening out the um, the episode, sitting with the guys, yeah. and he just doesn't strike me as, as an adult mm-hmm. in the way that he's handling it. He's looking for the guys to give him answers for yeah. this. And I'm not saying it's not okay to seek out advice from, from your peers, yeah. but if you're looking at him and reading that room, it looks like there's a bunch of men talking to a teenager. He's like wide-eyed and confused and I, I don't know what to do. She's telling me, you know, when we she's so strong that when we have these arguments, like I can't get a word in. Yeah. And then I just I go and talk to somebody else about it. Yeah. Like, that's really weak. You know, you have to be a, if you're in a marriage, if you're in a relationship with somebody, let alone a marriage, and you can't pick up the other end of that conversation. And say your point. How do you expect? What What are you gonna do? Yeah. Are you just gonna let this person talk for you? Yeah. Well, that's what that's what's been happening. And he so much has said that she's so strong that he can't get a word in. And so, yeah, she talks over him, and she gives him her view, and he adopts it pretty yeah. much. Yeah, that's what's happening. And so it's very disappointing, I guess. And I think Nate expressed as much, like where Ben has to stand up for himself. Yeah. And he can't let Morgan dominate everything. Yes. But that's exactly what he's doing. And because he feels guilty, because he was wrong, mm-hmm. he's letting that run the show. Yes. Now he he doesn't even feel like he has the right mm-hmm. to say anything. Yes. He just has to continue to fall on his sword, fall on his sword, fall on his sword. But Morgan's not going to be more respectful no. of him in him doing so. No. She's just going to run him over. And that's what she's doing. (laughs) And she's running him down. She's (laughs) she's holding his nose in that... How how long has it been? In this uh, four-week-long poop. That's what she's doing. She's holding his nose in it and letting him smell it every minute. You know? (laughs) Yeah. And so it's just like the whole thing of it is so out of order right about now. It's... um, it's sad to see. It's yeah, hard to watch. It is, but I mean, I'm getting tired of being honestly like seeing him in this like puppy dog eyed. Yeah, it's nothing I can do. I'm trying my hardest. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, give a little pushback. 
you said what you said, you've done what you've done, you've made your apologies. Um, there's only so much that he can do at this point. If she's not going to be receptive to it, this just isn't going to work. And that's okay. No. He's going to have to embrace the fact that this really may end either at or before eight weeks. Yeah, very, very true. And you're right. You know, we did come down hard on uh, Morgan, yeah. you know, last, last week. And to be honest with you, I'm still kind of a hard on, more, on, That's on, on fair. Morgan. We're just including being yeah, here on yeah. this Yeah, I, I don't right want to fully let him off the hook. Yeah. And I know um, we talked with one of our um, commenters yeah. about this as well. I want you guys to know, like, yeah, we gave Ben some heat at the beginning. <laughs> yes. We definitely did give Ben some heat at the beginning. And I'm not completely off of him. It's just that Morgan's rage... Her, her her vengefulness right now is so prevalent yeah. that it, it's hard not to talk about it. And it stands out what her um, underlying issues are in terms of like what happened with her dad yeah. and what's causing her to be just this spiteful yeah. toward Ben. And I don't like to see that, you know. Yeah, true. But you know what? I think you're right. Ben does that. He ha- at this particular point, he does have to step up. And he does have to put on those big boy draws and he does have to stand up in the gap and say, you know what? He's already taken enough punishment, I think, from her. He's acknowledged his wrong. Yeah. And he, he, he has to say, you know what? I want the marriage. Do you want the marriage? Yeah. Right. You know, and <clears throat> if you want the marriage, what you're doing, it has to stop. So speaking of that, as we get into the Dr. Pepper portion, before yeah. Dr. Pepper even comes in, I think Morgan is having a confessional and she says, like, I still want this to work. And I'm like, girl, what? No, mm-hmm. you don't. <laughs> you are lying to yourself or mm-hmm. to everybody else and nobody's convinced. It doesn't yeah. seem like you want it to work. She's, what, wanted Dr. Pepper to come in there and wave a magic wand? <laughs> So Dr. Pepper comes in, sits with them, and in my opinion, does absolutely nothing. You let me know what you got out of Dr. Pepper's visit, but I, I didn't see much. I did see, I did hear Morgan be a little bit reflective saying, you know, could I have made a safer space for Ben to talk to me? But mm-hmm. she didn't answer that question. <laughs> she went right on in to complaining about Ben. Yeah. You know, so even when for the brief moment, she was reflective mm-hmm. and said, you know what? Could I? Maybe I could have. No, she didn't do anything. She's not going to accept any type of fault or anything for a responsibility for her side of anything. And so here it is. And I'm a, and I'm of this mind. I, I, I do believe that in a marriage, a man has to assume some uh, more responsibility than a woman. I know it's old fashioned thinking, but that's just me. And so I think that Ben has to assume more of the responsibility for the demise or success of the of the marriage. Either mm. way it goes. However, when you are with someone who is not willing to meet you in any kind of way, I don't know where he can go no, with this. No, I thing. mean there's not much that he can do. Sometimes you can apply too much pressure, right? Yeah. And him being so remorseful. So, like, I'll do whatever it takes. Um, She recognizes there's not that much that she's going to have to do. But Mm -hmm. I also think he's just flat out afraid of her. Mm -hmm. Um, Because when Morgan was sitting with the ladies, they asked her, you know, has he been reaching out? And she said he hasn't. You know, it's been radio silent. So, and I think that, too, bothers Morgan. I'm sure it does because she kind of, like, wants him to chase after her. To chase her. her. But no one really is going to continue to Mm -hmm. chase after someone who's beating them up emotionally or mentally or anything like that. Especially they don't have anything invested, right? Like, it's not like they have a two-year marriage or a five-year marriage or even a one-year marriage. They just met. They literally just met. So, what is he going to do? Now, I think if he thought she would be more receptive, he would probably probably chase her more. Yeah. But he's like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. So she's running them down every chance she gets. So who wants to run behind it? Who wants to chase yeah. them? Not I. I wouldn't sign up for that type of abuse. Yeah, I used the word abuse. Yeah, I wouldn't sign up for that. No. So Dr. Pepper asks Ben how it, how this all happened. Yeah. And he admitted that he was overly judgmental. Mm-hmm. And I think that is 
essentially what we were getting at the getting at at the beginning of this video, which was him being judgmental of her, him addressing things that she couldn't really do anything about, at least in the immediate or near future, mm-hmm. student loan debt, her relationship with her dad, things like that. Him judging her based upon that, that was a problem. And so he recognizes it. Um, but him acknowledging that to her doesn't really resonate with her at this point. Like yeah. she is shut down, period. She might as well just call it. Be Chris. Be Chris and Alyssa last year. And <laughs> yeah. just say, this is it. This is my decision day because it doesn't make any sense for Ben to keep on going through this. Or for her, for that matter. I yeah. don't think it's healthy for either one of them. Yeah. But you know what? To, to kind of like go back, one, there was a lot of, I think, decent advice kind of floating around when the when the guys were together and when the ladies were together. Mm-hmm. I heard Mitch say, you know, there does need to be some compassion and some forgiveness in, in a relationship, in a marriage. There's some grace, yeah. There's some grace. Yeah. And, but... She, She's not willing to again, She's not to, to do any of that, you know. Yeah. And so again, what is what is what does Ben do? <laughs> what, is, what is what is Ben? What what is what is she giving him to work with in, in this situation? So we move on to Dr. Pepper going right ahead and giving them the note to your younger self assignment, which for me was disappointing because I felt like this was her opportunity to do more, to yes. intervene, to talk to Morgan. Because as much as Morgan talked about what Ben did, how he did something wrong, oh, he did this with his clean slate, et cetera, how do we get past it? And Dr. Pepper missed the moment to talk about how to get past it. That didn't happen. No. So there's no tools that were given to them to make this situation any better except to say, Write a letter to your younger self and share it with one another, which is the blanket advice that she gives everybody. Yes. So highly disappointed with with what Dr. Pepper did um, with this couple. And maybe she just felt like it was beyond any kind of help for her. So yes. she just went ahead with the normal protocol of the show and was like, hey, you know, y'all work this out. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. What can I say? Uh, Dr. Pepper... You dropped the ball tremendously yeah. with this. I mean, you you were she was in the middle of, I would say, a conflict uh, zone. Yeah. And she could have brought that A game to say, okay, this is what I need you to understand, and this is what I need you to understand, and this is what I need both of you to mm-hmm. work on. Mm-hmm. And she gave neither one of them you know any of that no. and, and if her a very game minimal. Very yes minimal. if her a game is write a letter to yourself and <laughs> <laughs> i mean where yeah. is your your expert where is your expertise i didn't so, see it. it was not on display with this both of them wrote a letter presumably to their younger self mm-hmm. when they get back together ben reaches she asks uh morgan asked ben if he wants to go first To which he did. He reads his letter, basically talking about some of the same stuff that we've already heard. Like, you know, he would feel like he's not enough. It'll be hard for him to understand, like, how hard his parents are on him. Um, Just the, the challenges that he's talked about, because he's opened up to Morgan several times about his childhood and and the effects that that had on him. Yes. One point that we didn't address that I, I thought was almost comical, but not for the reasons that he said it, was Ben saying that I'm in therapy now. Yeah. Like in the in the group session, I'm sorry to go backwards on y'all, but I, I don't want to miss this point. You know, he is literally throwing everything at the wall that he can do and seeing if anything sticks with Morgan yeah. up to and including pursuing therapy for something that I don't even know if he knows what he's pursuing it for. Yeah. He's just doing something that he thinks that she would want him to do, which again, it just feels like he doesn't know what he's so confused. He's so not like an adult yeah. in this situation. Yeah. Well, I think he, he is, he doesn't know what to do. He is confused. He's probably wondering to himself since it looked like he's adopted Morgan's thought mm-hmm. process on this whole situation. He's probably thinking to himself, why do I keep lying? You know, I can't help myself from lying. <laughs> no. So I need to go to therapy <laughs> to stop lying. But it's not like he's just, uh, 
incapable of not lying. He's just so scared of her. Yeah. And he talked about, you know, as he was sitting there, like, I thought it would be easy when I told the experts as they were looking for, you know, a, a match for him mm-hmm. to be with somebody who's strong, to be with somebody who's of another culture. Yeah. And and it's not. <laughs> not I mean... That, not that strong, I guess. That was very telling. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe that was the most insightful thing that came out of him. Yeah. Perhaps. But... So, so is that what he's pursuing counseling for? To be able to handle a strong woman? I think that that could come out of the counseling. I mean... Maybe. It, yeah. But it's going to be too late yeah. for the two of them. For the two of them. <laughs> for, the, for, for the next Morgan that shows up on his doorstep, I guess. I, I think he's going to run from the next person that strikes him anywhere <laughs> similar to Morgan. But... Yeah. We don't have that much to say about Morgan's letter because she didn't read it. No. So, Ben got finished with his letter. But wait Was, a minute. What did I say? When when she showed up and they were supposed to read their letters, what did I say? That she didn't write one. <laughs> yeah, I already knew. <laughs> no, she didn't read one. That's for sure. I do think she knew. wrote one. Yeah, but I she she refused to read it to him. She told him that she was uncomfortable because everything that she shared with him has been used against her by him. He he shared it again. I think it's probably an exaggeration. Mm-hmm. I think. Um, she just doesn't want to. She's she's out. She doesn't want to be in yeah, it. She's checked out. So why yeah. why why continue? Why did you show up? Yeah. To hear him read his letter. I think um, next week they should just call it. I think he should call it. Um, I don't care who calls it. Like throw the towel. Yeah. Throw the towel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should call it for real and and be like, you know what. That was totally yeah. disrespectful what you did. I, I already done owned up to my stuff. You haven't owned up to anything. Mm-hmm. And and if you don't have an apology or saying that you want to do something with this marriage, there's no point. So you already done moved yeah. out. Fine. You know, he, he has to. Say, I mean, come on. Or he's going to just something. endure two or three more weeks of misery no although he's in that apartment by himself so at least he doesn't have to look in her face like she said you're gonna look at me every day. <laughs> yeah so that's i mean something yeah i guess so i guess so you know he is in an apartment by himself but that but she's still popping up and throwing her darts at him every chance she gets so no yeah mm-hmm. well we'll see you guys you got anything else for them because um, no, I, I think we're good. I okay. mean, we, we talked about Dr. Pepper and her wonderful advice that she gave them. Um, I think, we, I think we covered it all. All right, guys. Well, let us know. Like I said, I think it's throwing the towel time. I'm done with this couple. I, mean, I don't have any energy to put toward them much anymore. We're not seeing any development. There's nothing new really to talk about. Morgan's got the same issues. Ben's got the same issues. Yes. We're running in circles at this point. But... If you think they have a chance, I would love to hear about it <laughs> in the comments because I would like to know how and why. Why, why would yeah. they stay together? Yeah. I, <laughs> I would like this question. Who's more at fault? I mean, you know, I already told you, I think men have to take more of responsibility yeah. in, in a relationship anyway. But to break it down, who do you think is more at fault? Is it, is it Ben or is it Morgan? Or is it Morgan's dad? <laughs> <laughs> Phantom menace. menace. You don't see him, but he's there. He is there. Yeah. He is ever present in their relationship. Yeah. Anyway, guys, like I said, comment for us, please. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. We'll talk to you guys soon.